this doesn't really have a title screen. It just kind of starts. And, and we see that Wa is dead. Long live Wa. Welcome back to Kingsway. Um, I don't even know what of these things. I guess that, that was good. Um, yeah, welcome back. It's going to be uh, another attempt at Kingsway. I enjoyed this. This was a good revisit, and there's enough new content in the game to keep it interesting, and enough that I have not seen that I wish to see. So, I think we're going to... Oh, <laughs> those are some good ones. Um, there's, there's more. How about this one? We can use this one. Binyat the Necromancer. I'm going to stick with Necromancer for a while. And uh, what gift? Magic points. Lovely image. I feel like these images are like too big. For the game, even. Okay, World Navigator. just have to gain my bearings and remember how I do this. There's that Kingsway music. I... I mean, some of it gets a little repetitive because there's, you know, limited amount of tracks, but... I kind of really like the music in this game. Why'd you block? Binyat, please. There's bandits. There's three of them. I'm going to take the bribe. Oh, I lost reputation for taking a bribe from Ban- Oh. Did the bandits, like, tell everyone that they knew? I had a really bizarre computer problem that's been continuing. Without going into it too much, let's just say when I record a video from OBS, every now and then I try to drag it into the OneDrive so Johnny can get it for YouTube. And then every so often, this has been happening since I started using OBS. Every so often, when it, I try to drag it in there, it just crashes. It crashes my computer. So I had to zip it and send it to Johnny. It's weird. Or upload it. So I don't know what that is. I think the, the files get corrupted and the OneDrive could be the problem. It's so hard to predict and uh, rather to pinpoint and to predict too, truthfully. But I'm not giving really enough information for anyone to help. I'm just saying that it is a thing that happens and... Anyway, this time I'm going to spend uh, more time in the earlier areas, defeating skeletons. I got some armor. This armor is three defense, three weight. Eh, it's fine. It's kind of poop. But, you know, you gotta take whatever you can get. Alright, let's see, we gotta... Guild shop quests. Didn't I have a quest? King summons. Yes. Ah, yes. You have to click the quest first. So yeah, I'm I'm a dummy because I forgot the supply bag could be its own weight system. Last time I played this. But you know, listen again. If you're a, a chat member, or just chat, or if you're a member, you you must remember that I forget these things. I mean, I figured it out eventually, but it took me a little bit of time.
rotten travel robe of intellect. Oh, that's definitely rotten. Travel boots. Travel boots. You know, I'll take a bit of travel. Traveling boots. Could use the travel distance. Fuck it. They're cheap enough. That's the bandit money. I just need a magic item so I can offer it to the thing and get a skill. Did you ever have a word stuck in your head? Of course you have. <laughs> I'm assuming. The word currently stuck in my head is fungible. Yes, the same fungible from the cursed... thing. But I- what- I don't know what, where'd it come from, this word? I was listening to, um, I'm listening to a new podcast. It's, uh, Will Arnett, Jason Bateman, and Sean Hayes. It's called Smartless. It's just, they're just clowning on each other and they interview people. There was one with Tom Hank. There was one with, um, who was it? Uh, Dave Grohl. I listened to the one today with Rob McElhenney from Always Sunny. And he just, they're like, so what is an NFT? And then he has to try to explain it. And I'm like, don't. But at the same time, he did. And when he says the word fungible, I'm like, I've heard this word so many times in the past week, and I still don't understand the word itself, and I hate it. Funge. The state of non-funging? What, what happens when you funge? It's like, it keeps echoing in my brain, but yet I, I don't like the word at all. It is a good word, though. Even though I don't like it, I'll admit it is, it is like, it's funge. Funge dip. Fungus? Does it have anything to do with fungus? Please. I'm... old. I don't understand these things. If the dude from Always Sunny in Philadelphia has to explain it to me, then clearly I've gone wrong. Or have just not paid enough attention. I'll buy the treasure. It's a spear plus one. That requires agility and level four, but it, it, it's, you know, it's decent. Shadow is coming. 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 Shadow. Coming. Medieval step. Barely avoided that. Um, do I upgrade my skeletons? Recover two health and two magic after each battle. Why was I not getting that last time? Does anyone know? Plus three magic regeneration. Wooden wand is better than dagger, confirmed. Here. Let me just increase my agility, my strength, my intelligence. Okay. I don't want to see this thing's nipples. Scroll of Paisen. I have a lot of keys. Cult mask required level four, but it has some defense, does some stuff to demons. Uh yeah. I 
I feel like the picture of my face. Oh god, I almost died. Oh god. Um, potion of magic. Horn? What is this? Uh, it's a quest item. Okay. Owl shield. It's, um, good. Defense. It's nice. Weight crystal. And blue boot. It's move speed. It's just move speed increased. That's fine. to help me here. Yeah! Okay, now, um... We could summon demon, but I'm not ready for demon summon yet. It's six magic. It's pretty cool, but uh, I'm gonna get skeleton increase. Cultist robe. Yeah, that's- that's better. The spear just requires Agility 9, and I'm not sure I want to upgrade my agility to get that when this wand is increasing magic regeneration. So I'll hold on to it. I'll slowly work into the agility leveling up, but I'm- I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get it. Unless I need... Unless I need it, the extra damage. Unless I need to go to Ikea. Imagine me whenever I see an Ikea. That's my face on the bottom right there. I just accidentally summoned another skeleton. Fuck. Plus 3% magic item find. Ah, oh, man. Another axe. And this is all stuff I can sell. <laughs> Strap on 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 armor. More slipper. Oh. I need a magical item I can give to the stone to get skill. I need a skill upgrade. So I'm just gonna wander around. Oh, there's a nice treasure chest there. It's a, it's a good one. Remnants of a ritual here. A series of circles drawn. Old books in the center. I'm gonna check the items. Skeleton horn. Ashes. Take book. Ancient book. You lack the knowledge to read this book. Radiant treasure chests. Limb carve. Required. Oh, wow. L limb carver, rather. That's pretty fucking great. Mighty ring is plus two strength, which is good, but I mean, if I need to, I can sell that. I can give that. One defense, 8% block. No, small shield. Not as good. Book of Wand Mastery. Do more damage with wands. That's convenient. Uh, full potion. Mm. Time to throw away some garbage. I forgot to put on that cult mask. Um... These full potions are fantastic. Yeah, I think even as a necromancer, I'm probably gonna want Limb Carver. Okay, so this is agility. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to offer this ring. Okay, I get skill point. Uh... I'm gonna upgrade Soul Eater. That's one thing I wasn't doing last time I played this game. I feel like Soul Eater is a lot better than I'm giving it credit for. Just being able to have a, like a steady drip of health after fights. Talk to the bandits. Uh, I'm gonna fight them. Mighty Ring. Plus two strength. Hey, I got my ring back. Doomed Thief Garb of Intellect. Minus 16% damage to demons, but I get extra intellect. It's... Pretty good. Ah, oh, man, if only it wasn't doomed. Doomed. Use it. Search treasure. It's an orb. Just one extra damage. Deft skull wand. Of Wrath. Required level 6. Agility, critical damage, regeneration, magic regeneration. That's fantastic. Bag is too full for orb. Jeez. Well, I'm coming up on a shop. Thief garb. And it's too... I think this is going to have a shop. This is a dungeon. Oh. But, I mean, I need, I need I need a shop, not a dungeon. I'm going to pass on the dungeon. Talk rumors. No, just something about monoliths. Why would I unsummon the skeleton? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, just summon the skeleton again. There we go. Alright, skeleton summon, I'm gonna upgrade. Better skeletons. I think that's probably my best choice right now. And, uh, stats. Let me double check. This just needs level 6, so I need one more level for that. Um, the spear, I'm probably not going to use. I'll get some more agility anyway. making these skeletons fight each other. You know what we need to do? We need to stop skeleton. Powerful monster on the map. Jeez. 
I go over there and just summon like a hundred skeletons? Or plus one. One defense, two damage. Two damage is pretty nice. Book of Wand Mastery. Now I have Wand Mastery too. That's, again, amazing. I'll get rid of that old. Why not? Book of Heal. This is permanently learn heal. Oh, that's nice. Very lucky run. I've had some shit luck. This is actually good luck. How'd that happen? Heal is great. That's gonna be very useful. Long sword plus one. I mean, strength ten. It, it weighs four. Ideally, I would sell that. Get rid of the spear. And sell the long sword, I think. I'm not really sure. Whoa, don't rest. No. Oh. Oh. Potion shop. Okay, we'll sell that. Sell the cultist robe. Inside the supplies bag here and sell these slippers. Sell the small shield and sell the axe. Okay. There's no guild here, so I can't do these quests. I have, um. There's a quest over there. Free potions. There's a lost shipment that's up there. King's Castle. There's a map at the King's Castle. Alright. Um, okay, I, I can do the Lost Shipment. Or, or, Powerful Monster. I might go back and do the Powerful Monster one. I'll do Lost Shipment first, since it's right there. Um, talk to the merchant. Small bag. Okay, carry more things now. What's this stone arch? I like how I can summon one skeleton and pretty much always have that skeleton, that magic, back for future skeleton regeneration. Mighty Nail Club of Frost. Plus three strength, plus one chill on attack. Nothing happens in the stone archway. You can even remove block and run, if you have other skills. Okay. Damn. Maul, plus one stun on attack, requires strength 25. I can sell it. Uh, Iron Helm is defense 11, that's good. I'll hold on to that for later. Yes, basement. Some bones in the corner, basement, oh, it's this dude again. 
just going to summon three skeletons to help. Because I'm almost leveled up. There it is. Alright, great. Um, explode summon. Instantly inflicts three times their minimum damage to all enemies. Right, I forgot about that. Um, spectral shield. I'm going to increase the skeletons instead of learning a new skill. Free gold again. Um, there's a ransacked caravan. I'm going to look for the lost shipment. Follow debris. The trail ends here. It's rat the rat man! Have four skeletons. Okay, that was a little overboard, truthfully. <laughs> I mean, it worked. Some packages, and it's, um... It's a ring addressed to a nearby location. Skill, bind three, five agility, five, uh, five, five vitality, three agility, critical damage, plus 20%. Yeah, maybe we don't deliver this ring, and we, we keep the ring. I don't know. I can also equip this now. How are we doing on this one? Required agility, 12. Required level, 9. So that's, that's still a while, but throw another in agility. Get one of each. going to attempt to defeat that enemy. They want to buy my Parat's ring for 95 gold. No. I'm gonna have to use my potions if I fight that massive enemy without leveling first. Helm is level 7. Preferably I level to 7 before I get there. Not enough magic. Oh, shit. Friggin' skeleton quest becomes available, I will have enough skulls for it. Yeah, the monster's still there. I don't really know if this is worth it, but I'm gonna try anyway. Looking for new job. So, free gold. A thousand gold, that sounds like bullshit. Town of Wormhold has become overrun with ghoulish undead. Eh, eh. It's a big ass monster still there. Yeah, it's still there. This wand is pretty great. I just can... You know, I can fill an entire bag with skulls. Wait, Crystal, crush this to get outside quickly. Parrot's ring is level 7, right? Mm 
We will fight the cloaked figures. Mighty Thief Garb of Purity. So this is plus three intellect and escape chance. This is strength, poison resist, escape chance. I lose intellect. <sighs> That's a tough choice. I just need better armor, period. Okay, monster. Fungaloid, he was a fungaloid. Happy as he could be. Oh, 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 there it is. It, so it does exist. I was like, does that happen later? But no, it, it's happening. The world is being covered in tentacles. What do I want to increase? Skeleton Overlord 2, it's like a 40% increase in speed, like total, that's fucking great. Okay, before I go to the next area, I can wear the Iron Helm. And I can wear Parat's ring. Learn skill bind. Prevents enemy from moving for 12 seconds. Magic cost two. Why, why would I not wear this ring? It's so good. percent block. This is defense and damage. I think the owl shield is going to have to stay. Ectoplasm. Oh yeah, there was plenty of ectoplasm when I was in the bed there getting wanked off by a ghost. Yep. Some would call it a nocturnal emission. I wrote it into the Ghostbusters film. Rake weapon? The fuck? Travel robe plus one travel distance. Mm. Scroll of poison. Two horns. Again, quest item. Potion of attack is very good. A fucking rake? Just thinking. Okay, now it's time to escape the darkness. I might have already taken too long. I forget what I have to do here total. Like it not total, but yeah. Protect yourself from bandits today. Four bandit tooths. Teeth, you mean? How many of those do I have? I have two of those. I think we're good on skulls. It 
Yeah, I forget the, the thing. I think you have to go from, like, area to area, like, fight, and then you can go to the main area. <laughs> I know that's not very specific, but... What happened there? We got some bandits here. Thief garb, don't need that. Hollow ring of flight. No, that sucks. And a two. Oh, we got one bandit tooth. Mighty ring of doom. I almost missed that. Plus four strength. Plus sixteen percent damage to beasts. Smoke bomb. Lucky coin. You're so lucky. Okay, it's extra luck, which I guess I didn't have. Um. I didn't realize I didn't have a charm. <sighs> Mouse hand is aching. Dead hand, speaking of, plus nine magic points. Skull mat, oh man, plus six life, oh man, life steal? I get to be a skull necromancer? I get to wear a fuck fucking crazy hand? I'm gonna get the magic points. Even though the shield is nice, I might keep it on me, just in case. I have to go down there. I think there's more music in this game than there was. I don't remember this track, but then again, why would I remember anything? My skeletons are starting to not do as much damage as I would like for them to do. Oh, here we go. Back to the beginning, musically. Okay, uh, upgrade your items here. Okay, um... I can get to... Okay, uh, two seeds of life. This is useful. Ah, oh, man, I, I can't upgrade the damn skull mask. This I can upgrade. Even though it's already amazing. the travel robe. I lose intellect, but I'm gonna wear it because the travel distance is nice. And if I'm using this offhand, I have plenty of magic, so I can probably upgrade a few more things because I've been collecting all this crap. Like, I have a horn. I could upgrade the skull wand. Damage increased a bit. I can upgrade the blue boots. Defense, up. I can upgrade... I can't upgrade the skull mask, which would have been nice. I can upgrade this travel robe again. Just, just more defense. Um, I have a lot more skulls. I don't remember this mechanic. This might not have even been in the game. How 
I need more skulls. So I have... Okay, let's let's do some math here. So, in regards to skulls, skeletons in your area, I need four skulls for a ring, right? I have one skull there, and I have one there, and... Uh-oh. Uh. Oops. Shit. Alright. Level, the level requirement is seven. So if I upgrade this again, then I can't use it until I level again. <laughs> It'll do more damage, though. I'm gonna level. I'm gonna do it. I just have to wear... Uh, not wear. I have to use something else first uh, for a while. Shit. Well, that's awesome. Worked out. gonna light that beacon. Not until we, uh, level up. Nice ass, dude. Where'd he go? Oh my god. D do you see that crap? Huh. That enemy's a real nasty piece of work, huh? Damn it. <laughs> so there's the three. I have to go to these three. So we're at this one. That's good. I'm gonna take the map. And I'm gonna store, I think, a couple things. Store the bandit's teeth. Because... What the hell am I gonna do with them? I'll just sell some crap. Instead of storing it. I'll tell you what I will store, though. Oh, wait, no, I, I'm gonna sell them all. I'm gonna, uh, put the skull in there. I'm gonna store... Limb Carver. Because I, I can't use it till level 9. I'm not that far from level 9. I'm gonna hold on to Limb Carver, never mind. Okay, I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna use one of these rings to get a skill. I use that one. Attacking is, is probably... Well, this has got four strength as opposed to... Two agility. So, I mean, that, that just seems like a better option. Sell this mall. Okay, so there's some weapons here, nothing special. There's some armor. Bright blue boots of flight. Okay, so that means that you're going uh, to escape better. It's got intellect. These have decent defense, though, and good move, move speed, so I'm going to keep my original boots. Potion shop. Do I need any potions? No. And there's also a travel thing, too. So what's this? Looking for a new job. We'll try to go there and level up. And then light the beacon. 
several places to investigate. The inn, room one. Room two, ah, uh, fuck. This will be a level up. I didn't even need to use the potion. Oh well. New skill. Okay. Um, summon ghost. Ghostly version of yourself that mimics your physical attack power. Deals 40% your attack damage. Oh, man, that's good. Curse item. Imbue a normal item with powerful magical properties, but also a random negative property. It's interesting. Uh, probably not going to do that. can wear the skull wand again. That does four to eight damage. Attack speed slow. How about the skeleton? Those are, that's average. Demon is slow attack speed too. I'm gonna keep summon ghost here. Also, I have the bind move and I haven't even used it yet because I have too many things. I'm gonna get rid of heal for now and I'm gonna put bind over there. Seems like a terrible move. Um, you know what? We need heal. So I'm gonna put summon ghost here. I'm gonna put heal here. I'm gonna put bind there. And I'm gonna see if the ghost is any better than the skeletons. Because I'm doing a pretty decent amount of damage, because I also have Wand Mastery. Not sure if that was the right decision, but we'll see. Room 3, room is locked. Okay, weapon shop. Check chests. Whoa! Deft Disc Spear. Required Agility 19. Hard Level 9. It's a pizza cutter! Did Square Enix de 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 develop this game? <laughs> Crystal Wand, one chill on attack, plus 9 magic regeneration. Pretty cool, too. Bright Saw Sword, plus five intellect. These things are pretty heavy. Okay, there's the ghost. Damage three to five. That wasn't the right choice. With some upgrades, yes. And with better weapons on my part. So we're trying to fend off the ghouls. I'm going to attack immediately. Also, since they don't take advantage, they don't, um... Like, have the skeleton upgrades. It was not a good choice. Oh, Bind just keeps them still. I thought it would, like, actually stop them from attacking. Oh well. Potion. Talk to the person. The owner of the magic shop. They're dead. The dead are coming. Are getting light from a cursed amulet someone traded 
to me. The amulet is still at my shop, but I'm too afraid to get it alone. If you take me there, perhaps we can destroy the amulet. First, I must find the key from the inn. Let's go to the inn. The room is a mess. The magic shop owner grabs a strange key and leaves. Scroll of heal, too. Uh. Magic shop. Um, there are several ghouls lurking in the corners. The owner seems to ignore the ghouls and mo moves quickly towards the amulet. Let me attack the ghouls. I'm gonna get my skeletons back. Because this is not working out. This bind move does not need to be a thing. It's now wearing the amulet. There's an eerie dark aura around them, and their eyes turn completely white. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I think they took the damn amulet for themselves, and they want ultimate power. Isn't that always how it goes? God damn it. Take the amulet. You're pushed away by an invisible force. The shop owner transforms. Their flesh turns to ash, leaving only the skeleton beneath. It attacks you. It's Scythe Lord. I wonder if that's a Joel reference. It just struck me. Um, cool. What's this? This is Grant's one stat point. That's nice. I feel bad for the damn shop owner, but you see what this motherfucker tried to do? Uh, leaving only the amulet. I'm going to keep the amulet. Reputations decreased significantly. Soul puzzle. Summon ghoul four. Plus five intellect, plus four strength, plus one stun on attack, plus 35% damage to undead. Yes. Yes, I will, I will be taking this amulet and I will use it. Very, very good. Thank you. The ghoul does... 8 to 13 physical damage and 4 poison damage. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. Of course I'm gonna summon ghouls. You leave the magic shop with the amulet in your possession. The remaining ghouls don't attack you. There are no survivors in town. UNLIMITED! Okay, go. Do your job, ghoul. Health is critically low. Oh, get fucked, Revenant. It's very annoying that the Revenant, like, takes your, um, UI away. I'm gonna stay here, but the shadow is creeping, so I have to be very careful now. Right. 
upright saw sword. That's just... I mean, plus five intellect is really good for a sword. For my build. But this does plus one stun on attack and has a skill, so I'm gonna get rid of the Bright Saw Sword. It takes up a lot of room. Same for this Disc Spear, cool as it is. The Crystal Wand, compared to my wand, Magic regeneration that kicks a lot of ass. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it a shot. Weapons, limb, broadsword of leech, minus 5% attack speed, never mind that. Hmm. I need one more skull. for this. It's kind of cool that it freezes them temporarily like that. I, that's, that's pretty good. I like the beacon. Got a bunch of ghouls. Skeletons to help out. Now I can attack a little bit. That really slows them down, that ice. <laughs> Damn. That worked out great. Choose new skill. Um, I'm going to upgrade the heal. Seems like the smartest potential thing there. Um, Charm of Mire. Time moves slower. That's kind of cool. Okay. Death Garb. Plus 6%. Critical chance. Ah, that's that's cool, but not cool enough. This helmet, however, critical leech. I lose life steal, but I get critical leech, damage protection, more defense, plus three strength, plus three intellect, minus three agility. Let's throw it on and see how that goes. King's Icon, teleport to the nearest fort. Beacon is lit. Gonna make up for the agility by increasing agility by three. Critical Leech is when you inflict a critical hit, gain health points equal to 15% of the damage inflicted. So that would be good with critical focus, which I don't have, so maybe next time. That wand is actually very good. Okay, we're not gonna go back there. We have to travel to the next location normally. I 
could have healed it with a spell. Plus, plate. Uh, this is plate armor. Oh, it's heavy as fuck. 15 defense plus 1 defense. Yeah. Never mind that. That was a critical hit. So I do have critical hits. Just a little bit more would be even better. Scroll of Burn. See, this plus agility, this wand plus agility, enemies wouldn't be able to attack very much. Plus 10% damage to bosses, plus 4 agility. That's a cool sword. And of course I can't hold it because I need more... I need more bag. That's, uh, skull number 4 for the next time I get to a guild. Bright Ring of Judgment is, uh, plus 4 intellect, plus 16% damage to demons. Light Greaves, it's travel distance. This is move speed, that's travel distance. I'm gonna get the travel distance. That just increases the, the place, the places you can go to on the map. I think it's, it's pretty good. What does this have? This has guild. I can do that and then go get another skill. I'm considering the intelligence ring, but I think I kind of want the extra damage. The strength damage... Uh, the strength is nice for extra damage. Experience and reputation increase are nice, too. Traveler's Ring is plus two regeneration, plus three move speed, plus five travel distance. Is that better than more strength? No. It's nice to have, though. Death Garb, plus six percent critical chance. Yeah, I'm gonna wear the Death Garb now. Um, Blacksmith would be nice for that, because then I can upgrade it. Charm of Mire, time moves slower. Still gotta figure out what that means. Lack the knowledge to read the book. I sell the travel robe too, fuck it. Um... This music. It's a little disorienting. I mean that as a compliment, though. Look, another blacksmith. Um, I left all my items in storage to upgrade shit. Crystal wand I managed to upgrade, which is good.
what offering? Not the Traveler's Ring. Just the regular old Mighty Ring. Okay, I got a skill point. I'm gonna get the critical focus skill. It's a little bit of extra critical hit. And then I'm gonna uh, get another skill over there. Great. Winged Helm. Plus five move speed. Eh. Yeah. Bring it with me, but I don't know if I'm going to be using it. Okay, we found a forest. Which could be a problem. Because if the shadow is coming and I'm stuck in a forest, not good, man. very helpful. Okay, level up. I'm going to, uh, Magic Leech, gain one magic point every time you attack an enemy. Lich King, all your summon monsters are more powerful. Plus two max damage, plus 12% damage to bosses, plus 7% critical hit chance. Gotta go for Lich King. Oh, it's a Mimic. Especially with these skeletons. Because the skeletons are pretty cheap to summon, and I've had them for a while, so now I can have them just do more damage. Runehelm, plus 20% damage to bosses. Fucking hell, that's good. What a lucky run this is. Silver Wand? No. I think agility would be a good thing to put points in, considering this wand can freeze enemies. So the more agility, the better. Oh, there's going to be a lot of extra skills. Uh, Deft Ring of Wrath. No, it's the agility ring, but again... It's only two, so I'm gonna do that. You've been selected. We at the Foundation have noticed your interest in the true power of the monoliths. If you would like to learn more, come to the attached location. The password is Noski World. Right. I'm gonna upgrade Lich King. And then my next skill point will be... Um, the one where you get magic. Oh, fucking forest. But yes, having like five skeletons all doing decent damage and very quickly going to be very good. But I wouldn't mind the one magic per hit so I can heal more frequently. Scrub Lord, more like it. F 
flail and a scythe. A scythe. They weigh too much. Let's um, offer another thing. Nice shitty leather shoes. Okay, what magic thing do I have here that I'm not going to use? Time move slower is very interesting. I don't want to remove that. Mm. This already does more damage. Yeah. Deft Skull Wand. It was cool, but it's no longer... It's no longer necessary. I'm try to light this other beacon. You don't get magic when you're one of your minions attacks, though. I'm gonna go here and try to heal up first before I get there, if possible. magic for this next fight. Okay, chainmail. Reeves, travel distance. Book of Poison Cloud. Learned Poison Cloud. Uh, Greaves, I have. Um, light Greaves. Oh, right, these Greaves are better. Okay, great. Cool. traveling to get my magic back if possible. Mighty Halberd of Fury. Cruel Ring of Sense. Plus 21% magic item find. That's cool, but... Eh, not so sure. Also, I can now use Limb Carver. I'm gonna try it in a bit. I wanna see. Maybe it's a little bit better. I don't know if Stun is better than Ice, but it could be. do now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make the attempt here. Let me sort my potions and have them <laughs> available. Oh, 
Apologies. a lot of skeletons. Wow, I resurrected already? I, I didn't even think I was taking that much damage. Jesus. Well, that sucks. Um, okay. Upgrade Lich King. Charm. Increased damage for every blue glowing monolith. That might be my new charm. Plus 7 intellect, plus 15% magic. Fine, that's, that's also amazing. Uh, Murgle's sword. Requires level 14. I mean, I have to take that with me. There's no way I'm leaving that here. So, okay, how much damage am I doing? 12 to 15, right? Let's see what this is again. Intellect, strength, stun on attack. Plus one stun on attack. Mm. But this makes damage go 15 to 19. And I lose my skill, my ghoul skill. Oh, shit. I'm gonna say that that is cool. If I like more, maybe. It's just really... I don't think it's worth it right now. I'll try Limb Carver. go to that fort too. Cloaked figures. There's four of them. So now I'm basically stunning twice. As far as I can tell. And this is a pretty good strategy. Ball mace. Uh, I really don't have room for any of this stuff right now. I can get one of them and sell. At the, no, maybe, maybe not. Uh, maybe not. Because, yeah, no. These things are too heavy. I need more storage. Too full for potion of attack, for fuck's sake. Rotten ring of strength, garbage. Hardy thief garb, plus six vital. Uh.
I'm not sure if this is doing more damage. I need to double check. Because again, this is 6 to 9 damage. Nice. This is 8 to 11. And it also has a bunch of other shit. I just don't have as much magic regeneration. I'm, I lose 9 magic regeneration. And I lose the wand mastery. But this has got more agility. It's got intellect, stun on attack, damage protection. I don't know. I'm going to say that that spear is probably a little bit better. Stun locking enemies is great, though. There's a scraggly old witch like figure hunched over wearing a hood. They walk up to me with a large staff. I can help you with your little adventure. Your first one is free. You feel a change in yourself. Her health regeneration permanently increased. Thank you. There we go. Guild special boots. Okay. This one's got travel distance, chance to dodge, escape chance, and attack speed. A little less defense, but I'm going to say that these, these are... Um, Overall, I'm going to say that that's an increase. Okay, next upgrade. King. I'm gonna sell these greaves. Uh, wing helm. It's just gotta go. Rune helm. I'm gonna keep for if I need it for a boss, maybe. Deft Greatsword. No, see you later. I'll keep the Crystal Wand on me, maybe. Uh, Murgle Sword, I think I want to keep, because... Greater Heal 3 sounds pretty great. Put it in storage. Gold staff. Uh, full plate armor. No. Fool's fancy robe of, pur of purity. No. Level them. I'm level 12, and this is level 14. I'll keep it in storage. But I'm gonna now take this stuff out. Just in case there's a blacksmith. Critical Leech is great, but I'm going to put the Rune Helm in here. Okay, uh, let's continue along. This is the King's Castle, so I think I need to light one more beacon. Poison. A lot of fucking scrolls I have now. Mighty ring plus six strength. I probably will be able to use that sword. 
is someone in the distance. They're holding a treasure. I'll buy it. Hardy Winghelm of Sense. Plus 7 vitality, plus 15% magic item find, plus 4 move speed. Still not as good as this because that has critical leech. Agility. I mean, again, I could use that big sword soon, but do I want to? When I can do shit like this, they only get like two bars in. Okay, you've been selected. There's a cave, but the entrance looks too small to fit through. Try to enter. The, try to enter the password. What's the password? Noski World. I thought it was gonna, like, Nurgle Spurgle. Okay, Noski... World. The rocks around the entrance shift. You can now fit inside. You enter a cave and are greeted by several cultists. Oh, this doesn't... Seem okay. You approach a cultist in very fancy robe. They seem to be the leader. Everyone else seems to be preparing for some big event. Leader speaks to you. Are you the one who's been activating the monoliths? Yes. You don't know what forces you are meddling with. The leader scowls. A few of the cultists have moved the way. Blocking the way out. Ask about the monoliths. Our knowledge of the monoliths is not for you. Alright, well then... Enjoy death? Oh, there's more. Okay. And here I am thinking, like, I'm, they're gonna, like, power me up because they're, they're so proud of me for setting off the monoliths. Meanwhile, these guys are fucking jerks. Mind Shield Rune. It's a charm. Your magic points protect you from damage. Okay. Monolith research paper. Okay. Okay. Enjoy the cult with me, Dreed. Yes, father. Plus seven intellect, plus 37% poison resist. Plus 12% damage to demons. The intellect is nice, but... I think I have to pass on that, because I like the critical chance. Kite shield, plus 15% block. This has got plus 9 magic points, but this has got block. use the extra block, considering what that boss did to me before. The magic points are all well and good, but my next skill I'm going to upgrade um, the uh, extra magic.
So in the center of those monoliths, there is something. What can I upgrade? Special boots. See, meet me at the marked location or I'll tell everyone what you did. Huh? Um, there's a warrior. Guard of the guild. They offer a place to rest and heal up. You think you're so tough? How about a duel? Okay. Your funeral. Reputation increased. Ah, oh, yes, another bag. Beautiful. I'm gonna put charms and stuff in here. Party wing helm of sense. All right. Um. Yeah. No. The Owl Shield can finally go to now, I think. There's a powerful monster on the map. Right over there, and then I think... Where was the quest? That was the quest right there. I'm gonna go fight the monster, but there is something in the middle of those monoliths. I don't remember what it is exactly. Like, I, I think I've done it before in a previous run. Bright wizard shirt of flight. Escape chance, magic power plus 24%. I don't know if that increases... I'll take it, but I don't, I don't know if that actually increases the, uh power of my skeletons and such. <laughs> thought there was a powerful monster here, what the hell? It's just an overlap. Reputation is increasing. Plus four intellect. Okay. Okay, Magic Leech, I can't upgrade, actually. Never mind. Okay, Critical Leech, I can't upgrade either. I can upgrade Critical Focus to get more critical hits. That I will do. Okay, so... My magic is a little low at the moment. Let's go for some... Intellect.
Mm. Free gold. There's... You can see that, clearly. Huh. Book of Enchant Item. Ooh. Learn Skill Enchant Item, okay. View a normal item with ra uh, random magical properties. I'm gonna enchant that. Plus, um, magical power. Vitality up. That's good. Once I get some more magic, I can do this one too. Yeah, there's, there should be something right in the middle. Oh well, I've said that already a hundred times. So, whatever. If I find it, I find it. If not, I'm just gonna do the thing. <coughs> that was a really good find. The enchant item find. Okay, so this shield... Research secret. Hello, necromancers. You may have heard there have been many rumors about what goes on in the crypts belonging to the clot. Those who have been in the crypts speak of human sacrifice and blood magic performed at cursed altars. If you can gather some physical evidence of any of these crypts, we can put an end to these forbidden rituals. Hmm. What does that require? Strange rubble. Huh. Yeah, a pack would be great. I just enchanted the shield in combat. In combat! This is now more intellect and uh, damage protection. So that, that worked out great too. Deft wheel stone shield? This is agility. Oh man, I gotta get this one. This is like the Dark Souls wheel. And it gives me a fuckload of agility, which is even better. Okay. A shifty looking person approaches you. I was starting to think you wouldn't show up. Your reputation isn't bad, but it could always be better. I'm a professional bard. I can help you improve your reputation with some stories for a price. I'll sing songs about you and make up heroic stories. Everyone will eat it up. Why should I trust you? If your reputation is good, good things will happen to you. Shops will even give you better prices. Okay. The more you give, the more you get. I have 200 gold. Reputation increased overwhelmingly. <laughs> Thank you. Pretty much can stun lock enemies now. Not entirely, but good enough. There's a wanderer. Okay, I still need to get evidence of rubble. Of things, whatever. Backpack. Definitely. Backpack can store another 25. 
Backpack within a backpack. Doesn't look like I can sell anything. Okay, well that solves a lot of my problems. It's going to a fort, but the problem is I don't know where that is. It would be nice if it, like, showed at the map. There's a lot of blacksmiths. Hmm. Okay, extra defense. Do I do this? Yeah, why not? fella here. It's another little fella. What the hell? Alright. Uh, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> this is a little cheesy. That's a little cheesy, I would say. Charm of hate. Enemies fight you more. Enemies fight you more often. Oh. Morv's helm. It's a. Uh, I guess. Uh, more gold find skills scrounge it's okay gold staff it's, uh, I've got fireball I mean I can't not take it with me but I don't want to use it to get um, critical focus again. Now I'm at 10%. And with the rate that I'm attacking, I think that, that works just fine. Butt Bandit has arrived. It said disappears, even though I'm still attacking it. I'm also dodging a lot of attacks, too. We'll go here. 
want to extend your life. Ever find yourself low on health? Did you know that 80% of people suffer from low health every day? Well, now there's help. If you bring us these few special ingredients, will help you live a long, healthy life. With the three beacons lit, the door opens. Again, I'll take these things, but I think my current setup is pretty fucking amazing. So this is plus four strength. Hang on, I, I had another thing. I had, um, that's six strength. Generation, move speed. This is intellect. Intellect. I'm gonna put on the six strength. What else did this one do? Damage to beasts? Well, extra strength equals more damage, so. I'm gonna hold on to that. And, uh, what else did I have here? I'm not changing my charm. That, that's too good. Alright, let's keep going. Again, Critical Leech. Why would I get rid of that? Uh, Bright Full Helm. <laughs> really wants me to have a full helm. This Dark Mace has 1 to 35 damage. It requires a lot of strength to wield, but that's... That's a random attack if I've ever seen one. skeletons, but why not? Okay, bag is too full. Jesus. Um, okay. Teleport to the nearest fort. Right, okay. Bright ring of stamina. Okay, yeah. Uh... Definitely want the potions here. New skill. Uh, fuck. Do I increase the skeletons? Is it, is it time to make skeletons better? Yeah, I guess so. I guess Lich King would have maybe even been a little bit better, but... It's okay. Um, more agility is really what it's all about. That's what this build needs. Just, just agility. So I can do shit like this. 
Even more agility would have been nice. Also, I didn't even realize I was playing this for an hour. This is all one run. And I had no idea. I looked down at the time, I'm like, oh, hour 51. Wait, what? With the um, potion of attack, I don't think enemy, like the enemy can get a single attack in. stuff. Crystal flail plus one chill on attack. Don't need that stuff. I'm already as powerful as I need to be. Unless something incredible shows up, like a 10 damage orb. Okay, that's pretty cool, but I need the extra defense because my uh, armor is not amazing. You approach the king's throne, the king looks, uh, sits stiff and frail, he looks at you and lets out a short sigh. A knight next to him in full armor speaks for him. You've proven yourself to be the strongest outsider. If you believe you are stalwart enough to fulfill the prophecy, then show me your power. Alright. I mean, that's not going to last forever, because the attack potion does not last forever, so... So it wouldn't hurt to have a couple things summoned. Defeated. Royal Disc. Reputation is power. It doesn't have extra stun on it, but that's pretty amazing. Especially considering the reputation meter is, is pretty high right now. Let's see. So, I'm doing 12 to 17 damage, and now I'm doing 18 to 20 damage. Though, I'm gonna say having an extra stun... ...is keeping me alive. The King's Guard collapses. There might be hope after all. A layer of dust falls from the King as he lifts himself off his throne. Using a large staff to hold himself up, the King mutters an incantation and looks to his side. A portal opens beside him with a flash of light and dark aura. The King sits back down on his throne and points towards the portal. He says nothing. In front of you, a blue portal. As you approach, the King speaks. The portal will take you inside the body of the Sky Eater. I only have the power to send one person through, so it is up to you now. Find a way to destroy the Sky Eater from the inside. It's hard. I mean, I've done this before years ago, I just don't remember. Which you've heard me say a lot. There's an enormous heart-like organ. It beats so heavily you can feel the area around you change shape and the air rush back and forth. Destroying this will surely destroy the Sky Eater. 
great force you managed to pierce the flesh of the heart. There is no blood. Instead of rush of fresh air, fresh air, its beating slows and a lump on the side opens to reveal an eye twice the side of your head. Talk. You try to communicate with the alien, but there is no response. Oh my god. Visible. The uh, uh, them. Uh, whoa! Uh, did I do it? I could. I almost had words too. I almost said real words. I tried to. I think my skeletons just won the battle. Um. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Okay, I'm okay. Crazy. That was crazy. Okay, level five skill. Lich King. Loot. No loot. I think that might have been the end of it. Almost died. I thought I had another full potion. I didn't. I was looking for it, and I was like this close to death. The heart stops completely. There is perfect stillness for a moment before the room around you begins to shrink, and the air is sucked out from every direction. You try to escape, but the passages quickly become too small. The air is gone. You lose consciousness. You died. Killed saving the world. Necromancer and achievement unlocked martyr. Uh, well, okay. New character class unlocked worthless. Oh. Large backpack. Oh, I should have saved up for that. I'm going to save up for that. Um, damn, while he's dead. Parrot's ring was so good. I mean, all of this stuff is pretty great. Um, the soul puzzle was amazing. I'm going to get Parrot's ring, though. What's the worthless class? Oh, it's just shitty. Got it. All right, well, that's one ending. Um, there's no big fanfare here, but yeah, that's one ending. And it was sure an ending. I know there was more stuff. And there was also the, like, um, beacons. There's that book I was unable to read. So there's more endings. And I remember doing a couple different things when I first played this game. But that's one of them. And it took about two hours. Excuse me. That was a lot of fun, and I'm glad I was able to actually like do a proper run as a necromancer. So thank you for watching Kingsway. I think maybe we'll have more Kingsway in the future, if I'm feeling it. Uh, I like this game a lot, and there are fun enemies with butts. Okay, goodbye for now. Good update, by the way. I like this update.